Hi Leo, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. Happy 2017. This is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of January 2017. You can also check out your moon and your rising sign. I feel that also gives great insight and understanding. So I have shuffled and we're ready to get started. Okay, Leo, the first card here is going to represent what you are desiring and your objectives are in the month of January. The second card is going to represent what you're valuing and identifying with. The third card is going to represent a possible distraction, illusion, or doubt. The fourth card is going to represent the path towards your fulfillment. The fifth card is going to represent the right attitude to have towards yourself and others. And the last card is going to represent the outcome or the realization. Okay, Leo. So beautiful reading here. I just have to say that right off, you know, on the surface. So let's get started. Um, what's important to you and your objectives in the start of this new year? We have the nine of wands. So this is very interesting. This is your energy, fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And as you can see, there's a sandal here and there's like a, a worn road in the background. It looks like it's kind of a rough road. And so this just tells me that Leo, you've worked really hard, whatever projects, endeavors, beliefs, dreams, you've traveled long and far to get to where you are right now. And you know, because this is a nine, it means that you are near completion in something that you have hoped for, dreamed for, or wanted to attain. You're at a nine. However, with that being said, you're kind of weary in some ways because you know, you are fire energy, but even fire needs time to breathe. Even fire can wear out. And this can kind of allude to feeling like your energy has been spent that you've really put your heart, your mind, your soul, your body, your spirit into your projects, into your beliefs, into relationships, whatever this is for you. And it's been a long road. And so I feel that for January, as you come into this new year, you're going to need some time to yourself. You're going to need some time to pause and also to reflect on this last year and where you're going now. Some of you could be doubting a little bit, that, you know, is success ever going to come because you've put forth so much energy. But the beautiful thing with this card, Leo, is that it's actually closer than you think. And even though you're drained in some aspect, you do have the inner resources and strength to keep going. This is, this is going to be about a month of persevering. And I know that you can do that because you are a fixed sign and you do have that belief, but even the passion and the strength and the intensity of fire, you know, can wear out, can wear down. And so there is going to need to be some time to pause, to reflect, to recharge your batteries. And I also feel that you're going to learn a lot this month. You're going to see the universe is kind of forcing you to step back and pause and reflect and also wait, which <laughs> I'm sure Leo, you're like, I'm over waiting. I waited so long. But there's valuable lessons that you're learning right now. There's like spiritual evolutionary lessons that there's this moment in time that's right now that's current that's that's going to show you and teach you valuable information so that you can move forward onto your next part of your journey. Now, what you're valuing and identifying with, how interesting is this? We have the wheel, the wheel of life, the wheel of fortune. So that's what I'm saying. And, and this card is all about timing. It's about, you know, there's certain things that we can do. There's certain things that we can put forth into the universe to create, which you're no stranger to that, Leo. You know your power. You know that when you put your mind to something, you generally accomplish ex your goals. And so, yes, your own willpower and strength is accomplishing your goals. But this is like God in the universe saying, remember though, Leo, there is a time and there is a season. And yes, you have incredible power right now. You've been directing your focus. You've been directing your energies onto this, this center point here. But you also respect and understand on a deep subconscious or even intuitive level that there's also timing. There's also events that 
that we don't, we can't control. And so I just feel like that's kind of what the universe and God is teaching you right now. That yes, you are powerful, Leo. Yes, you are a manifester, but allow events to unfold the way that they're supposed to know your power, but also relinquish your power and let go of your power when you need to and trust and let the wheel kind of reveal to you where it's supposed to land, where things are going. There's a part of, you know, holding on and letting go. There's a balance. There's a beautiful balance that's happening here. So we have a nine and we have a 10. And so it just, things are really shifting for you, Leo. Things are really um, happening in your life. I do feel that January might be a little bit of time to pause and reflect, but there's some powerful transformations happening. You're aware of this, you know this. I think that you're excited and optimistic and positive. Like you know that good things are coming. They're right around the corner for you. And I feel that you think and know that this is gonna be a great year. Okay, so the potential distraction illusion or doubt. We actually have the Knight of Wands. So this is an interesting energy, Leo, because with you, love is never far off. Um, romance is always in the air. Even if it isn't right now, it is right around the corner. And you kind of get that with this guy. Um, this is the bachelor. So for some of you, this is very literal. You're going to have like a new romance or a potential new romance with a fire sign and Aries Sagittarius Leo, or someone that kind of has these traits. And the Knight of Wands is really all about changes. So this person could kind of like come into your life really quickly and then come out. They have a very intense energy. They're very um, decisive. They're very action oriented. It could also, for some of you, relate to a place. So it's not necessarily a person or even a thing. Um, it could be a distraction for you, Leo. Like maybe you're not sure what to do with this. Like, is this legit? Is this real? Is this valid? Or is this like kind of a fly by night person or situation for others of you? It could be a young man, um, or male energy, or it could be a female that has these kind of traits, but whoever this person is, or the situation is, it's very energetic. It's very, um, this person or situation is very ambitious and adventurous and very warm and exciting towards you. Um, the, the, the thing I'm getting here is that you really, the, the bachelor wants to act and think later. And that's going to be the temptation for you is just to jump into this to like, Oh my gosh, this looks so exciting and fun, but you really need to check details. So there's something here because you're at this like pivotal point where change is happening for you. Um, check the details first. I know the the temptation could be to be impulsive and just to get caught up in the excitement of whatever this is, but make sure that it resonates with you. Make sure that you don't just impulsively react to the excitement of the situation because you're really at a powerful and pivotal place, Leo, and you have to protect your energies. You have to protect your heart and you may be a little weary in some ways. So, so just be cautious with that energy. And so as far as the strategies to be made, we have another 10. I mean, it's just this, your messages are being validated because you are solidifying Leo. You're solidifying, you're, you're stabilizing your life. You're stabilizing your fortunes. A lot of you are doing well in your careers. You're doing well in your creative pursuits and your fortunes are increasing. And so continue on this path, continue on your creative goals, your visions, your dreams. Don't give up now. I know that it's taken a lot of work and a lot of energy. The 10 of Pentacles just shows that like good fortune is coming to you. It's now manifesting. Dreams are actually coming forth into the physical world because we have an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So what's interesting about the 10 of pentacles is some of you might even be thinking about changing your residence or where you live. And this is also a card that talks about making acquaintances with new people from abroad. So, you know, there's expansion, there's strong expansion in your time to come here. Um, others of you are just building your home, building your family, building your financial stability. This is, you know, continue solidifying because what you're doing is bigger than yourself. You're going to be able to pass on not only to you, but to others, to future generations. So even though there's some excitement energy here that wants to kind of sweep you away and maybe distract you, I feel like you want to stay focused. You want to stay grounded and you want to work on your creative expression, you know, your purpose and your plan is what's most important this month.
And then the right attitude to have, Leo. Look at this, don't you love it? It's your card, the sun. I mean, Leo, don't be, don't feel bad or ashamed or don't let anyone guilt you because you're meant to shine. You're meant to be confident. You're meant to be your son, you know, let your sun shine. That is your gift. And some people don't understand that. Some people are like, wow, you're really overconfident. But it's like, no, this is my natural gift. You know, this is my God given gift because in your sun, you shine on other people. Like just because you have, you know, a strong self-esteem and confidence Yes, you do, but you also exude this and it brings light and happiness and joy to others. So it's not just purely self-centered and self-focused. When you are at your best, Leo, other people benefit. And so I just feel that don't feel bad, don't, you know, apologize, be your true self, be your authentic self, shine bright, enjoy the beauty of life and just feel your energy. Be your positive self. Don't let anyone dim your light or bring you down. And you know that good things are coming to you and you can feel it. Okay, so the realization or outcome, Leo, is the beautiful High Priestess card. And I love this card. Um, this is you tapping into your intuition. Purple is like the color of royalty. And I really associate that with Leo because Leo is a royal sign. This is your feminine spiritual, intuitive aspect to yourself. And I just get that this is going to be a month where you're really going to get spiritual wisdom, intuitive wisdom, and you're going to take those insights and use them to, to manifest in the physical world, to not only help yourself, but to help others. Everything that you've gone through Leo this far is helping you. It's, it's giving you knowledge. It's giving you experience. And now you're going to be able to take that and bring it down to earth. You're going to be able to take all the lessons that you have learned and and you're going to be able to translate that into understanding and common sense. So you're just going to have even a better grasp on how to move forward and how to grasp the opportunities that are coming to you because you are about expanding your self-expression, being a young child like spirit and expressing your joy and happiness into the world. And so I just think that you're going to move forward after this month with like new creativity, new expression, and just, um, a joyfulness and a, and a deeper understanding of life. So I really hope this message has helped you. If it has, as always, I would appreciate for you to like, and subscribe to the channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Thank you, Leo, so much for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day.